So today I'm going to start doing something a little bit different. I'm going to start doing bump dates. Every week I'm going to update you guys with what's going on with me and my pregnancy. And I'll do a little belly picture. And yeah. This week I am 31 weeks pregnant. I went to the doctor two weeks ago on a Tuesday. Um, and that was to do my glucose test where you drink the orange drink and they draw your blood and stuff. Um, but at that appointment, they wanted to do an ultrasound because at my 20-week appointment, which is usually the gender reveal appointment, they said that there was something that kind of like grabbed their attention that they weren't happy about. So they wanted to do another ultrasound to make sure that was taken care of and that it all fixed itself. So when we did the ultrasound, they said it was fixed but there was a new issue. I got a cervical check done and we found out that I was a centimeter and a half dilated already and I was only 29 weeks at the time. So I got put on bed rest and put on a couple of different medications um, to stop my contractions because the whole week before I was getting a lot of what I thought were Braxton Hicks which are like practice contractions for your body to get ready for labor and stuff but um, it turns out they were real and I didn't know that because with Kenley I didn't feel my contractions um, they just felt like what I was feeling the other day they felt like you know just Braxton Hicks they weren't painful they were just a little bit uncomfortable um, nothing that you know like caught my attention the only thing that really kind of made me wonder is why they were happening so often and why they were um, not really going away because with Braxton Hicks you can usually like lay on your side or drink some water or take a bath or something and they'll go away but mine weren't really stopping um, they weren't like consistent like every five minutes oh my god I'm in labor but they were like every day um, for like an hour at a time we got all that figured out and they put me on bed rest and I went back this last Tuesday and they checked everything, did another ultrasound, did another uh, cervical check, and everything is back to normal. We're completely good. They want me to keep resting and doing what I was doing. And honestly, I'm not doing very well because I've had a very stressful week. My car got towed. Um, and so all day yesterday and the day before, I was like freaking out and like stressing out really badly because it was like $275 to get my car out um, just for them having it overnight. And the reason, like, they took it, it was really stupid so I was parked in a handicap spot but I have a handicap place card and it was like hanging up where it's supposed to so clearly like I can park in handicap but apparently my apartments um, assigned that specific handicap spot to a specific person and they didn't inform anybody about that I got Kenley out of the car and ran my groceries upstairs and as I was coming down to go get Cody from work uh, my car was being towed and I was freaking out they wouldn't even let me get my car seat out um, so the whole next day I had to have Kenley in like one of those carrier infant car seats and she's 14 months old so it was not ideal at all but that's what I had to do um, and the whole way that this tow company did business was just awful so the cops were there at the tow place when we went to go pick up my car and everything it was just a big mess so for the past like two days I've been contracting and doing nothing but like freaking out and stressing and then so today I kind of just relaxed and did what I needed to do um, it was storming pretty bad last night Kenley woke up at like 6 and so she was like screaming like she had a bad dream or the storms woke her up or something so we put her in bed with us and gave her some milk and she went back to sleep until about like 7 7 30 and then she woke back up wanting to play so um we kind of just let her crawl over us in bed and everything and like do whatever she wanted and then um she was getting a little bit fussy so we put her back down in her bed and she slept until 11 so we slept in until like 11 a.m. this morning and we got up Cody made French toast uh, Kari came over and then Kari and I went to Walmart um, got a few more things I think I got a curtain rod for baby's room and we put that up today hung his curtains up Cody and I did some at-home maternity pictures and as soon as I get those back I will show you guys we had to take Cody to work and then Kinley and I came home I cleaned the or she went down for another nap I cleaned the house um, we just had some leftover chicken noodle soup for that I made yesterday for dinner tonight. Um, Kinley wouldn't eat those, so I gave her those like beech nut squeezy 
things that have the baby food in them. She loves those still. Uh, so I gave her a couple of those and she seemed to have a full belly. And then we had some friends come over. Um, my friend Emily with her little baby boy Chance who just turned one this month. Um, and we had a blast with that. So that was fun. They just left a little bit ago. Kenley got her bath and now she's in bed. So I decided to sit down and film. Today I kind of just chilled out and had a good day and had fun. This week in my pregnancy, I've been really winded. Like I'm losing my breath so fast and like now <laughs> and I have to like breathe deeper and like I don't know I just run out of breath so quickly um, I've also been eating a lot more like I don't know this whole pregnancy I haven't really ate much I haven't had much of an appetite but now I'm just like so hungry all the time I eat food and then I'm like oh I want something else and then I eat something else and then I'm like oh I want more <laughs> and then I eat something else it's crazy um my heartburn has also been really 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 bad lately at first I was able to take just like one Zantac and be completely fine for the rest of the day and then it started going to two Zantac like one every 12 hours and now those aren't even working so I'm just like great and with Kinley I had horrible heartburn and they say that with heartburn your baby has a lot of hair and I doubt it'll be true this time but hopefully it is because that would be awesome to have a baby with hair <laughs> and maybe it'll mean my heartburn was worth it because it's awful it's just awful I've also ha been having like a lot more pelvic pain so like when I stand up and um, when I like walk around or when I'm like bending to put my pants down or anything like that um, I feel a lot of pressure and a lot of pain in my pelvic joints and my bones and stuff so that's starting to happen um, which didn't happen until like later in my pregnancy with Kinley I excuse me I think I was like 36 weeks when that started happening somewhere around there so hopefully we're not dilating still hopefully everything's still okay but I have been on my feet a lot the past couple of days so I go back in on July 7th to check again and obviously if something isn't right I can call and go and they'll check and make sure everything's okay. I will give you guys a quick bump shot. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will keep doing the bump dates every week. I will upload on Sundays. Um, and let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see any anything else, any other kind of videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye!